Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel, the mail that you guys send me, the letters. I love it all. So, Pisces. You know what I need you to do, Pisces. I need for you to give me all that fun-loving, fun exuberant, sexy, trucking, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, glorious things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Town. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Mm -hmm. It's about cold sandwich weather. That's when I start eating cold sandwiches. Lots of tuna salad. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Cold sandwiches for everybody during hot weather. <laughs> so, tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You may all keep standing and eating your cold sandwich. <laughs> We're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy is going to be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and then we're going to quit that shit together. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still reminiscing on those carrots that I just ate. They were so cold and good. Show! Pisces, Pisces, oh no. I, I don't think I've ever gotten the unknown card straight off the bat, right in the middle of a reading for the overall energy here on the table. Oh no, Pisces. So the unknown card here. Oh, Pisces, Pisces. There is an unknown energy here. There is an unknown energy here, okay? So there is something here that is not yet meant to be revealed. It could signify something from the past that's fully not understood yet. Or maybe something that's going to happen soon and we don't know what's going to happen, Pisces. Ooh, so uh, there's some further steps that need to be taken here in this person's energy in order to clarify the bigger picture, okay? So this person here is looking deeper at a situation at hand to find the answers here, okay? So it's like, it also can represent, the, you know, moving forward with an open mind without judgment here. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Oh boy. So this is a deep card of introspection. So something's going to be revealed, soon. I don't know, Pisces. Look at all this shit. Look at this. Would you just look at this? I've got the Queen of Wands. I've got the Queen of Swords. I've got the Queen of Pentacles. I just need the Queen of Cups, and we got all four queens down here on the table, babies. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. This is an interesting reading. Let, let, let us, we're gonna find out what the hell's going on here. Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands energy here, Pisces. The Queen of Wands, uh, it's, it's surface level energy. It's an attractive energy, too. It's a magnetic energy, confident and warm. Um, she's not, uh, you know, very emotional, but she is caring, okay? And she draws people in with, you know, optimism and being cheerful and lighthearted. She's also very creative here. And um, people find her very inspiring and very, very alluring here, Pisces. Oh my God, Pisces, what is going on? We've got the Queen of Swords here on the table. So, this Queen of Swords, she rules with her, her head, not her heart. She's got a heart, but she thinks logically. She's fair, she's honest, she's forthright here, okay? Okay. And she prefers to keep things civilized here, okay? Doesn't like conflict. Because if she gets conflicted, 
basically, she's got a sword and she'll basically, what? She'll chop your head off with a sword. <laughs> oh, that car, she's not chopping off anybody's head with a sword. I'm just making an analogy, Judge. Why is she such a, why is that Judge such a bitch? Man, I'm so tired of this. Every time. I mean, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, I'd much rather have the bailiff, like, judging right now because he doesn't even yell at me i just don't know queen of pentacles energy down to earth it's the overall energy for the reading so business minded savvy resourceful generous here okay she's basically the queen of earth cultivating the land here um but um yeah she's just uh she's warm and she's open here okay i don't know what's going on what the hell is going on here well i like a good sword fight I can't even clarify the unknown car, okay? There's no, I can't, I can't do it. That's where it, it's, something's got, something's going to be revealed here. I don't know what. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Queen of Swords is here because the Eight of Pentacles here, okay? So your Queen of Swords here is using her head here to get a new perspective about how some kind of situation is unfolding here right now, okay? Um, this Queen of Swords is using her keen attention to detail. And there's something here that this Queen of Swords is trying to learn. What is this Queen of Swords trying to learn here? What's going on? What is this Queen of Swords trying to learn here? Queen of Swords is trying to learn something here. About some kind of burdens here with the Nine of Wands here. Oh my God, Pisces. Oh my God. Okay. I feel like the Queen of Swords is trying to figure out here why this Knight of Pentacles is being so defensive here. Mm-hmm. So, this Queen of Swords here is waiting and watching very carefully here and um, this Queen of Swords does not want to be caught off guard here for whatever reason with this Knight of Pentacles energy here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So why does this Queen of Swords not want to be caught off guard here with this Nine of Wands? Because of the Hierophant here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Damn, Pisces. Wow. This is, uh... <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. How do I want to learn this? Uh, how do I want to learn this? How do I want to say this? <laughs> well, I'm thinking this... I know, I'm thinking the Hierophant, and I'm thinking this... She's found something out here. I feel like this Queen of Swords is... Learn something, and that's what I said. Learn something here. I don't, let's, what did the Queen of Swords learn? There, something's going on here. This is fishy. What did this Queen of Swords learn about this Hierophant? Hmm. This Queen of Swords here. I feel like this Queen of Swords energy here. And your person's energy here doesn't want to be caught off guard about some learning about some kind of connection here. This is weird, man. <laughs> I feel like uh, this Queen of Swords energy has put somebody out in the cold here. Learn something here about some kind of marriage here. And it's basically... I feel like this Queen of Swords has put this person out in the cold here. This Queen of Swords has put somebody out in the cold here. This Queen of Swords was talking to somebody here. Romantically here. And now they've learned something here. And they don't want to be caught off guard about a marriage or this queen of swords is waiting for this person to propose marriage here this is wild 
What the hell's going on? Mm. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna talk. We're gonna see why the Queen of Wands is here now. This is interesting. I mean, this is really interesting. <laughs> talk about spicing things up. Let's go, Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here in Pisces person's energy? Boy, this Queen of Wands here, it's like this Queen of Wands here, it's the weirdest thing, is desiring something here, okay? But it's like this person feels stuck. This Queen of Wands energy is a stuck energy here, okay? That really is trying to go within and make a decision. So, I feel like this Queen of Wands. <laughs> this Queen of Wands, it's like they got to speak up about some kind of truth or go through and release this heartache that's about to unfold here. Mmm. Wow. Okay. So your person might not be talking to this Queen of Wands here. I don't know. This is... I don't know. This is a wild... This is a wild ride here, dudes. <laughs> Queen of Wands to the Two of Swords. You're going to watch me go on this wild ride here. What's going on with this Two of Swords? What are they trying to figure out, this Queen of Wands? Fudge Sickle. Fudge Sickle. It's like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to be honest with you. This is taking me, I mean, I know what's going on, but this Queen of Wands is really, she's got me. She's got me. She's got me stumped here. She's got me in my head. This is what she's doing to me, really, right in front of me. Look, this is me now. I'm like, what? No, but literally, this is, it's like, this is a, this Queen of Wands energy is, like, not accessible here, okay? This Queen of Wands energy is been doing a little... Is really in their flipping, flipping fucking head. And I feel like this Queen of Wands energy here has been taking a break here, okay? Not talking to your person. Your person could literally be dealing with a Queen of Wands here... And a Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords knows is, is plotting here real carefully using their logic. But this Queen of Wands energy here, she doesn't know what the fuck's going on here, okay? Why is she uh, so up in her head here, okay? Why is this Queen of Wands so up in her head here? Damn! To the Nine of Swords? Oh my God! Holy, holy bejesus! Holy bejesus butt winkles. What in the hell? Out of the court! Out of the court! You will be held in contempt of court if you stand these swords. Oh my god! Hell to the no! To the no, no, no! Hell, no. Hell to the no, no, no! This Queen of Wands is in her head because she's got depression. She's got fear. She's got worry. She's got insecurity. She's got anxiety. She's got the full Monty here, okay? Holy crap. Holy bejesus butt winkles. What in the hell? Hell. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting... Let's go one deeper on the Nine of Swords. Let's go. What is going? Oh, we got nothing but swords. Oh. This Queen of Wands here is just trying to move away from the unknown here. And we got the unknown right in the center. And the moon is the unknown. Oh my God. And why is this Queen of Wands trying to just move away with the Six of Swords energy? Holy butt winkles. Because her intuition has told her to liberate herself. Holy crap! I don't 
don't know what the... This is a... This is a sandwich. This is a sandwich with a slice of the unknown down in the center. And something is going to be revealed to you. And I don't know what it is, Pisces. Oh, my good Lord, have mercy, but Jesus. Oh, my God. I like this Queen of Swords over here, though. This Queen of, this queen of Swords, she's very intelligent here. Okay? So this Queen of Swords is trying not to get caught off guard here. Okay? She is ready to fight. This Queen of Wands is ready to move away from this situation here. Because her intuition has told her. Oh my god damn, Sam. Wow. Oh. I'm going to do something different. I want to see... Because this just seems like a, a, a polarity here. Like it's split the uh, polar opposites here. Something's... This is a juicy reading. Oh my god. Oh my mother trucking god. Okay, I want to get three cards for what the Queen of Wands wants to tell you. And I want to get three cards here for what the Queen of Swords wants to tell you. Okay, what does this Queen of Swords want to tell Pisces? Before I close off this reading. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Oh boy, they want to tell you some truth here. What else do they want to tell Pisces? What else do they want to tell Pisces? They want to see you. What else? And there's something here that they want to move away from with these six swords. Ooh. What does this Queen of Wands want to tell you? What does this Queen of Wands... This Queen of Wands wants to tell you that they're in love with you. To the Four of Pentacles, and they've been holding this back here. What else does the Queen of Wands want to tell Pisces? What else does the Queen of Wands want to tell Pisces? They're just, they're coming in with a, this person's in love with you. Wow. Dudes, if you know, uh, let me, I'm ready to read the comments on this reading. This one had my mind blown. I mean, didn't it blow your mind? Holy, but Jesus, butt winkles. Carol's adjourned.